Let's say you're sitting at home and want to make a cool video, but the problem is you don't have any gear at your home except your smartphone. So how will you make a cool video using just a smartphone? And what you just saw was shot entirely on the smartphone. None of the filmmaking gear was used. And I'm using the iPhone XS, but it's not the point of today's video. You can use any smartphone that you prefer to use. However, you need to have the ability to shoot in 4K, so just keep that in mind. We have closed the windows to create an almost completely dark scene, and we're lighting the scene with the LED light and the softbox on it. But it's not the only way how you can light this kind of small set. You can use a white plastic bag to diffuse a light, or you can use any white piece of cloth. It works works really well when diffusing your light. And on the background we've placed two small RGB light sticks to add more depth and color to the scene. Although we'll be shooting on a smartphone, you have to treat the smartphone as a professional filmmaking device. And what do I mean by that? We have to get access to the settings like ISO, shutter speed, aperture, white balance, FPS, and so on. The basic app for shooting videos on any smartphone is pretty limited. You can control just the exposure, the focus point, the zoom, and that's it. So how you can get more flexibility? You can do it by using the apps from other developers. For example, the Filmic Pro or the Pro Movie that I'll be using for today's video. There are many apps available Available, just search for the app that you like the most. I will select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, select the highest resolution, it will give us more flexibility later. 60 FPS to slow down the footage in post when we need to. And the bitrate I will set to 90 megabits per second, that's enough for me. The higher bitrate you set, the faster your memory will decrease, just something worth mentioning. The shutter speed I will set to 120 because we double the frame rate to get the correct shutter speed. Constantly check your ISO to get the correct exposure, the white balance is close to 4K in my case, and the focus slider will need in the process of filming. Today's episode is all about filming and editing with the help of your smartphone. But if you prefer to edit a smartphone's footage on your computer, the Movavi Vlog team has a good option to offer. A one-year subscription to Movavi Video Suite 2021 and three fact packs for your Instagram stories are available at a 15% discount with our promo code VLOG15. Video Suite includes a trio of Movavi bestsellers, the brand new version of Video Editor Plus, Video Converter Premium and Screen Recorder. All the apps in the package are intuitive, easy to learn and contain all the must-have tools for faster video creation. The Fall Instagram Stories, Fitness Instagram Stories and Basic Instagram Stories pack will give you the opportunity to add stylish effects to your videos just in a few clicks. You can download the free trial of Movavi Video Suite 2021 directly from the official Movavi website. If you've already decided to purchase, you can get to our discount page directly from the description or attached comment. Okay, so let's get it done and later we'll dive into the editing process on the smartphone. Let's go. I suggest you think about this video as if you were shooting a music video. When you plan to make a music video, the first thing you do, you listen to the music that you're about to use in the music video. So right now, before you even press a record button, go to a music library and find music that fits best into the type of video you're creating. This will be the base of our video, the core. Think about it as music equals screenplay, because the music will dictate how the final video will look like. The music track and the video have to go hand in hand with each other. They have have to connect with each other. They could connect with beats, sound effects and actions that we see in the shot. Look for impact moments like a punch, something drops, for example, the bread falls onto the table while we hear the beat in the music. 
and look for diverse music. Sometimes it's loud and massive, but then it's quiet and soft. You need this contrast. Avoid music that is slow and steady. Massive or calm doesn't matter. That is not what we're going for. You need these drops in the music because we can use the quiet moments to add some sound design. Now you are the director of the short video. You have to think as a director. Any director has his own vision of the project he's doing. So make a plan of your video, in your head or on paper. Write down the ideas that pop up in your mind, nothing fancy, just a few steps that you have to follow during the shoot. When you're filming some fast movements, try to move your camera together with the moving objects. It also looks cool when something is falling or interacting with the camera. I have placed the camera on the table and we drop the ingredients straight onto the camera. When the onion have dropped for the continuous motion, I ask her to cut the onion and release the parts as if she were cutting it in real time. So it looks like it drops and then splits immediately. And try to not overuse the transition using the camera motion. You know, moments when something happened in the shot and then you quickly move your camera down. It looks cool when you connect the action and get this continuous motion, but it starts looking bad when used too much. Everything gets boring when overused. The same thing, don't use too many close-up shots, don't use too many wide shots. Film as much footage as you can so you will get extra flexibility in post. Don't forget about static shots, these are extremely important. Again, do not overuse the camera motion. If you constantly move your camera, it will be tough for the eyes to track the main action that is happening in your shot. I have also noticed that it looks really cool when you twist your phone and at the end of the shot you close the camera with your hand. At the beginning of the second shot you open the camera and twist again. A very cool transition. I suggest you to try this out. And for the finale she has twisted the burger and walked away. I will edit the video on the same smartphone in the Movavi Clips app available for Android and iOS. Click the big plus icon to create a new video project, then select all the shots and press add. Select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and select create. And we need to add the music. To do it, press audio and then the big plus icon. Here you can add the music that is already available in the editor, but you can add your own music or add the audio track from your voice memos. I have already uploaded the music and the sound effects, so I will select the music first. Now I will finish my edit and then get back to you. Right at the beginning I added the fade transition and after the shot where she throw the bread into the air I added the medium shot of the same action. I slow down this shot so you can clearly see the momentum. You can easily do it using the duration or speed plugin. And then when the bread started to fall down somewhere in the middle of the action, I cut the clip and move to the close-up shot with the bread falling down. And the camera continues the motion going under the table and try to avoid adding a cut straight on the beat. Connect the motion in the shot with the rhythm of the music. Like when she catches the tomato and we hear the music's massive beat. So the idea is to create a sense that the music was written specifically for this video. In some moments I've added a speedy transition. This is a very short clip just with the fast motion. So the movement and then cut. I really like how the sequence turned out when the cheese flipped in the air. This is a combination of three shots. The first shot when she grabs the cheese, the second shot when she throws the cheese into the air, and the third shot when the cheese resting on the meat. And pay attention that I never use the transitions that you can add in the editor. I don't like using them, I think they look amateur and boring. When you physically move the camera, it's more exciting and fun to watch. I really like the shots when the camera is moving together with the object. Yeah, not easy to film, but the result 100% worth it. When she have dropped the bread on top, I drop the smartphone together with the bread hitting the table at the end. It emphasizes the action so well. Smash a like button if you found this video helpful, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.